And when I asked her how long they would last, I thought she was going to be like forever. When she said two years, I was like, girl, two years? These better last me way longer than two years. Hey guys, it's Ifanyama and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. I am a Nigerian content creator and I make videos all about home, life and style. I upload twice a week on Wednesdays and Sundays at 6 p.m. UK time. I will love it if you check out some of my other videos. If you like the vibe over here, consider subscribing. I'm on a road to 10K. I will be doing a giveaway at 10K. Yes, it's officially an announcement. <laughs> so if you want to join in on that, then make sure you stick around. I also have a blog. I'm also on Pinterest, Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. <laughs> so please make sure you check me out on your favorite social media platforms. I would appreciate the support. Let's jump right into the video. You'll know already, I think I've talked about it a couple times on this channel, that I recently treated myself to my first pair of Hermes Aran sandals. And so many of you guys have been in my DMs like, girl, you've influenced me to buy my Aran sandals. I'm thinking about buying. I'm like, look. You know I have not influenced you to buy around sandals. You know you wanted those sandals for some time. I was the one that convinced you to pull that trigger and I will gladly take that title. <laughs> but yes, if you're like me, I totally understand. I went back and forth about the Arans for ages. I had tried them on I think four times before I eventually decided to buy them. And now I'm back. I've been wearing them for a couple months now, I think. And I'm finally here to give you guys my opinion. Everything you want to know before you buy our Rand sandals will be in this video. Okay, so let's start off with the packaging. What do you get when you buy your sandals? I actually purchased mine from the Hermes Boutique on New Bond Street, and mine came in this beautiful shopping bag that I've definitely decided to keep. In here, the first thing you get is this box. Obviously, there was a ribbon on here that you would have seen in the unboxing, but yes, you get the box. And once you open up the box, you get these two dust bags one for each sandal and then you open up the dust bags <laughs> and inside you have your sandals now i'm gonna get into colors so these sandals come in so many different colors and so many different leathers but for me i knew that i wanted the gold pair that was the one color that i had my eye on at least to try them out for the first time and i ended up getting them in gold and i do not know what this leather is called but i will find out and link it on the screen for you guys oh for reference gold is what hermes calls tan basically i know it's confusing but why i wanted this color was because for me my neutral base colors are black white and tan so in all honesty i will eventually probably end up buying sandals in black and white maybe not orange but i'll get to that later anyway i knew i wanted the tan because it comes with this gorgeous contrast stitching it's so beautiful to me and I just fell in love with that detail. Now I'm gonna talk about availability and my shopping experience. So I am a UK size 41. And like I said, I tried on these sandals in four different shops before I decided to buy them. The first time I ever tried them on was in the Hermes Boutique in Cancun in Mexico. They had them in stock in a 41. I was also able to try them on in Barcelona, again in the Hermes Boutique, they also had them in stock. I tried them on in the New Bond Street Boutique and then I tried them on the day that I actually bought them again in the New Bond Street Boutique. It's never been a case for me where I've gone into an Hermes store and they haven't had this exact shoe in stock in a size 41, so that's it's worth mentioning. But online, I've only ever seen them in stock online once. So if you're able to go into a store, I would definitely say that you're probably more likely to get the color and the size that you want. I don't know if maybe 41 is just not a popular size, but I've honestly never had any issues in any of the shops like I just mentioned that I've been into. So now I'm gonna talk a little about size. Now, before I actually bought my sandals, I thought for sure that I would need to size up, but every single time in all four of those shops, I was a true 41, and I am a 41, and I was a 41. So I did not need to size up, which again is another reason why I would say try going to a store if you can. But what I will say is, I don't think that I have wide feet. I've never needed to buy shoes that are specifically for wide feet. That might be something that I say could be a key. So if you think you have wide feet, maybe size up. I, I really can't comment, but I personally did not need to. 
The first few times I tried on the shoe, why there was so much uncertainty or why it took such a long time to pull the trigger. Now I know it sounds really silly, but I've noticed now that I think I have personally a sensitivity around how my feet look in sandals. <laughs> I'm over it now. But for the longest time, I just felt like they made my feet look wide. But then I realized that it's actually not the case at all. I think it's just me personally. I've always liked sandals that have more of a diagonal across your feet as opposed to a horizontal because I felt like the horizontal made my feet look wide. First of all, that just means you're not going to ever be able to wear so many different styles of sandals. And second of all, it's not that serious. Wear what you like. And for me, once I kind of got over that, I was like, you know what? I like these sandals and I like so many sandals that have more of a horizontal shape. So I'm just going to embrace it. And now like I actually don't even know what I was thinking about because I feel like my feet look absolutely fine in them. So yeah, that's kind of what took me a while to get over it. And now that I'm over it, it just feels so stupid. <laughs> oh yeah. So now I want to talk to you guys about comfortability. The first time I wore these sandals, I did not allow myself to break them in at all. I literally was on holiday in Greece. We were walking from Imer Govili, I never learned how to pronounce that word. I don't know why. Anyway, from there to Fira, which is a 30 minute walk. And the whole walk is like steps, steep steps, cobblestone. It was not a walk for flip flops, let me tell you. I put these sandals through the ringer. I was scuffing them, but they were so comfortable guys honestly i cannot rave more about these sandals i never had a blister i never needed to break them in i honestly didn't even feel like i was wearing anything except for the fact that i was conscious of scuffing them so i was like trying to walk more slowly and every time they would kind of like rub against a, a stone i would get upset and i just had to like quickly get over because i'm like you know what these are sandals like you did not buy them to keep them in pristine condition they were so comfortable for me and i know that's again it's not everyone's experience but i absolutely love these sandals so much because i wore them pretty much every day on holiday and almost every day since i've been back and they're my go-to's because they're so comfortable <laughs> i pretty much hiked in them the first time and i had no issues they're quiet as well. So I bought a pair of Zara sandals in black and I also took those on holiday. And anytime I wore those, they were like slapping. Like you could hear them coming like a mile away. These, you don't have that issue with them. So I just think they're very well made. I'm gonna come forward and do a close up and show you what they look like. But I just think they're really well made. I think they go with everything. They have this way of making your outfit look more put together. Maybe because of the way the sandals design. It's just such a sleek silhouette. And because obviously I think on my skin tone as well, it's pretty much the perfect nude if you ask me. And of course, because they're Hermes, they're more special than just normal flip flops, right? So I absolutely love these sandals. So they were 510 pounds. I don't know how much they are in other countries, but you can definitely find out on the official Hermes website. Like this is one of the few things that they'll actually tell you the price of. If you buy them in Europe, you get tax free. So I am definitely going to buy another pair of these because I really, really like them. I think my next pair, I can't decide if I want to go with black or white, but I'm hoping to buy them in Europe. So at least I'll get a, bit, a little bit of money back because they are expensive and I'm not sure how well they're going to wear. So that's one thing that is worth mentioning. So I've worn mine let me say every day for about a month. Let's say that because the kind of walking I was doing in Greece is not the kind of walking I would do on an everyday basis. So for that, let's give it up. Let's bump it up to a month. And this is what they look like. So here you can see the wear across the bottom, specifically around here and around the front. So this was from walking on the cobblestone and every time I would kind of hit cobblestone and in all honesty, it looks a lot worse on camera than it looks in real life, like no one's studying your shoes in that much detail. The second place where you have wear is across the top. So you can see some creasing along where your foot would kind of move, if that makes sense. It causes creasing around the indents of the H. So literally around here and around here. And there's also some lifting, if you can see as well, from where your feet move. The inside, which are the soles, still look very much brand new. And here is so cushiony soft. I think that's why they're so comfortable. There's no cushion around here, but on the balls of your feet, you get that really 
nice cushion. I think it also says Hermes there, yeah. It has a really nice embossed print there, which is nice because it's not going to rub off. On the back of the shoe, so obviously this is where any shoe would get worn. Let me turn this down a bit. Okay, so the bottom is also stamped with Hermes. It says Hermes and then it says made in Italy. And then it says Semel Cure. I don't know what that means. And my shoe size right there. And this is actually a better view of what the bottom of my soles look like. Now you see what they look like, the wear and tear, how they've worn. Again, I would say this is after a month of consistent use and also bear in mind that I pretty much went hiking in these. So I think that you could probably get them to look a lot newer after a month of use than I have. A couple things I wanted to talk to you guys about. So the shopping assistant that helped me when I bought these, she was like the loveliest person. I asked her what she thought about protecting the back of them with soles, like you know, those like rubber soles. And she actually recommended not doing that because she's seen some really bad jobs done. And then you can kind of see how it would mess up the sleekness of what they would look like because then you would have like a bit of rubber sticking out. And she's just said that in her experience, it doesn't look really good. And then in terms of what my actual shopping experience was like, every single Hermes sales assistant that's helped me in all four locations were lovely, except for the man that helped me in Barcelona. So you have a three out of four chance of having a good experience, I would say. The guy that helped me in Barcelona, even if I wanted to buy them, I was never gonna buy them from him because he was so miserable, but that's a story for another day. But overall, what do I think about these sandals? Do I think they're worth paying 510 pounds for them? Now, when it comes to luxury prices, I think that it's very subjective. And for me, what I think makes something worth it or not is your experience when you use them. So for me, I personally think that they're worth it. They're worth it for me because I love this color. I think this is a very specific shade of tan that a lot of other houses do not do. I have looked into quite a few deeps that you will know if you've watched some of my weekly vlogs. And for me, this is the richest, most beautiful tan color that I've ever seen. The leather is bar none, like you cannot compare it to any of the deeps. And more than anything, I think that they're very well made. They don't make that weird clanking sound like my Zara ones make. They are incredibly comfortable. I didn't need to break them in. They literally are like the perfect nude for my skin tone. It's easy for me to dress them up and dress them down. So from my personal experience, I think that they're worth it. Another, I guess, method that I like to use to gauge luxury items is comparing them to other similar luxury items. So. In the world of luxury sandals, these are pretty well priced, especially considering that they are Hermes. So another pair of sandals that I had my eye on, or still have my eye on, are the YSL Tributes. I'll put up a picture if you've never seen them. I think they're so beautiful. I think they're so timeless. They're so elegant and they're very well reviewed. However, they're 490 pounds. Now for me, YSL is not a brand that I think should be priced on par with Hermes. Most people will agree that at the very high end of luxury houses, you have Hermes, you have Chanel, you have Dior, and Hermes is almost like the king of them all, right? One way of looking at it would be that the YSLs are either overpriced or the Hermes Arans are well priced. That's kind of how you can look at it either way, to be honest. But for me, the Hermes, especially the Arans, are very iconic in a way where anyone that sees them knows that they're Orans, whereas the YSL Tributes is kind of like, if you know, you know. I really like that about the YSL Tributes. The YSL Tributes are always on sale. So that's another thing to bear in mind. If I ever did buy them, I wouldn't pay more than 350 pounds for them personally. So that's something to also bear in mind. So anyway, when that's all said and done, I personally think that they are worth it. Do I think it's worth it to spend 500 pounds on sandals in general? Maybe not, I don't know, I can't say. But in the world of luxury, in the world of Hermes, and in, in the world of you know investing in things that are supposedly going to last a long time, 
I think that with cost per wear, you will definitely get them with this, especially if you go for them in a neutral color. My sales assistant actually had mentioned if you're really like careful with them, you can get two years out of them, <laughs> which I thought was crazy. When I asked her how long they would last, I thought she was gonna be like forever. When she said two years, I was like, girl, two years these better last me way longer than two years but i'm very happy that i got these i mean i can do an updated video at the end of the summer if you want to see what they look like after like three months for instance but um yeah i thought that this would be a good opportunity to answer the question while there's still enough time for you to hopefully enjoy them at least for a couple more months this year so that is my review that is my experience i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you found it useful please make sure you give this video a thumbs up check out some of my other videos i have a couple of luxury reviews so if you like that sort of thing definitely check out some of my other videos of course i would love it if you stuck around subscribe to my channel i upload videos every wednesday and sunday at 6 p.m uk time like i said and i will catch you guys in the next one very soon stay blessed stay safe and take care